Hi there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to another Pear Blossom Press video. Today we're going to be using the Twinkle Lights. I love the Twinkle Lights and I'm super excited to use them on this card today. Um, and this is going to be a double interactive, so hang tight. That's why it's a long one. We're going to be using some sentiment stock. Love that stuff as well. We've also got a few clear stamps from Lawn Fawn. We're using the Push Here. We're using the to my fun guy, which hasn't been released yet. It will be released soon, but I just wanted the sentiments. And then we're using the Happy Mushrooms die, along with the Magic Iris Heart add-on because we're making a Magic Iris Shutter card, yes. Uh, and then, of course, we've got our World's Best Foam Tape because that stuff is the World's Best Foam Tape. Okay, so let's get into it. If you are curious about Shutter cards, I have a bunch on my channel. Uh, so I'm gonna not go, like we're, I'll show you in real time what we're going to be using, and then we'll talk about the shutter more in depth in a bit. But you do need three donuts. I know I only have two up there. You need three of these dies, um, and I'll pull out another one eventually. And then you need all these pieces that I'm going to show you here. You're going to need three of these little tab pieces, um, and then you're going to need uh, three of these like hot dog or little balloon animal type images as or uh, die cuts as well. And then I also have the pull tab that I've die cut out. The other two pieces that you see down below, like the little arrow, those come from a different die, but I'll show you that one. That's the one, the uh, Magic Iris Heart add-on. But yes, see, these are all the pieces that you are gonna need, and then we'll go through it but I am going to double up the speed when we do go through it. If you need something that's a little bit slower, uh, like I said, I have plenty of videos back on my channel um, that you can go take a look at how to put these things together. So we'll talk about it as we go, but again, if you need something slower, you'll have to head back to the channel. All right, this hurricane piece, I'm gonna use that right over the top of one of those donuts. It cuts out three little slots, and it also gives a, a little, a embossed edge that you will need to use for those tabs. So we'll put away the die because I've got everything I need now. And uh, those are the pieces. Now before I get too crazy in depth putting things together, uh, here is our Magic Iris Heart add-on. That die cuts out the heart, gives some little stitching detail which is great, and then you also have that little tab that you need. Uh, I am going to decorate this. So in order to do that, uh, the pieces that I need would be this one, the pull tab. I also need the little balloon pieces or the little hot dog pieces and then the pull tab as well. And I'm going to put these into my makeshift splatter box. We're going to use some picket fence distress paint on this background. I wanted to make this look like a night sky. That little adorable paintbrush rest that comes from Pear Blossom Press's store. So it's really cute. It works for splatter and it also uses, or it works really well to put your paintbrush on so that it can rest and not touch things. Um, so that was the distress paint in Picket Fences. And then I'm gonna bring in this uh, Trinity Stamps Gold palette to use the silver on it as well. Like I said, I wanted this to look like a night sky. That's why I also chose some navy cardstock Rather than blending it all, save a little time and use some navy cardstock. And so we'll splatter that. That's gonna give it some shimmer as well as add to, like make it look like stars. All right, so we're gonna let those dry. Set that off to the side to let all that dry. Or you could hit it with your heat tool if you're needing to get moving. But I'm going to work on making my mushrooms while these dry. So I've gone ahead and die cut all the mushroom pieces out of white cardstock because I wanted to color these with my Olo markers. So this is some Expressit cardstock and my Olo markers are the um, alcohol markers. And I'll put those colors up on the screen for you. And I'm gonna color all the mushrooms basically the same. So I'll just show you these two. We started with some O2.4, brought in some O2.5 and then we're gonna add some O2.7 and then we'll blend all that out going backwards and that should give us this fun look. I love decorating my die cuts this way. Um, also, if you're in a hurry, just use colored cardstock. That works really well also, but I really wanted to just add my own touch to it. And then we're gonna move on to the rocks. And as you can see, I'm struggling to keep that one in place. I did use some mint tape on the back to try and hold everything into place. That just makes the coloring process a little bit easier. 
Uh, and then you can, as you can tell, go a little crazy on the edges, not worry so much about trying to keep it in the lines because it really doesn't matter. So there's our rocks. We're using some W's, some, some warm grays for those. And then for our leaves, we're going to use some, I think it's yellow green is what I'm using. I didn't do the best job putting those up on the screen. Oh, here we go. Just some yellow. This is 8.6 and then we'll bring in some 8.7 to add some depth and dimension to those leaves. But it's all very simple. And then I also have some die cut, like the stalks of the mushrooms and then the solid pieces of the mushrooms. I left those white because what we are going to do is pop out all those those um, circle pieces on the mushrooms. You could save those for something else, but I don't need to. So we're going to just go ahead and get rid of those when the time comes. And then we can assemble our mushrooms together. Uh, I did remember that I had this Wink of Stella shimmer pen. I don't even know if they have these out there anymore, but I remembered I had it. It's embarrassing that I finally just remembered I wanted some shimmer on those mushrooms. So I just spread that all over the mushrooms. And I've assembled those now almost entirely. Uh, but now we're going to start putting our shutter together. So we need to do this, obviously, before we put any lights on it. And to do so, I'm going to take a little bit of mint tape and put all of those little balloon pieces on there just to hold those in place. And that mint tape is very forgiving and it comes off pretty easily. So that's that's pretty nice. So that holds all those in place. Then I'm going to bring in my uh, glue dots. These I'll have those linked down below, the size of those glue dots, because this is a specific size that you need. And you need three of them. Uh, liquid glue won't work. You have to use glue dots because it just helps. It, it allows a little give is all I'm going to say. So... I'm going to put the glue dots on the little embossed X that happens or when you die cut out each of those little balloon pieces or those little hot dog pieces, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> uh, so I need three of those. We're just going to put those on there and then we're going to grab another one of those donut pieces and just set that right on top. And that way it'll adhere to those three glue dots. After those are adhered, we can pull off our mint tape. Just peel that off and pull that out. And then... So that's that's what makes it so great holding it together. Uh, then you're going to need those little tab pieces. So we're going to have this flipped over. We've we've got our back showing, and that is the piece that you use the little hurricane on. And so I know I'm specifically putting the um, rip and stick tape on those areas. It lines up with the little notch that I showed you earlier. And then you'll just take your tab and line those up. And it's going to end up giving you basically like a Y. One down at the bottom, two on the sides. And then you can flip that over. And with one of them facing towards you, you can attach down this piece. And that's where it's got to go. So I'm going to put two pieces of rip and stick at the bottom. You could also, and I recommend doing this, using liquid glue on that as well. Um, so I should have, and I wish I had, Next time I will use the rip and stick and then also add liquid glue. And then you just adhere this down to that very bottom, just like I'm showing you. Like it has to go just like that. All right, the next thing you're going to do is bring in that third donut and you're just going to place it on top. And this is where you need some more of that rip and stick. We're just going to put a little bit on the ends of each of these tabs that is sticking out. You'll peel off that release paper and then you'll attach it down to your donut. You're not gonna wanna do it real tight. You do need to make sure that you kind of give, just, just wrap it around. Just don't make it really tight because otherwise it'll be very hard for your mechanism to move. All right, and then I'm just gonna test everything. We'll move our shutter piece. Everything seems to work great. Super happy about that. You could fold these little tabs in if you need to. I end up folding them back just because it wasn't necessary. Um, but now we need to uh, grab our, our base. So our base is just some more of that navy cardstock. And I am going to adhere down our heart. We're going to just go ahead and do that before anything else. And so uh, just lined up where I wanted my panel, put my heart in. And then I'm closing up my shutter because you need the tab to be sticking out of where the shutter piece would normally go. And then I'm going to attach some glue, or attach, I'm going to put some glue all over the front of it. It doesn't matter. You can just put it all over the front. And I'm going to attach it 
to the back of our panel and we'll just let that kind of dry. So that works out great. I'll attach down this little piece. You just want to line it up is all you want to do. Make sure that it's the flat edge lines up and you will or you, you might potentially have, which I did, have some of the piece of that shutter hanging off. So I'm just going to trim that down after I um, adhere the little white arrow. So I die cut this twice, obviously, one out of white and one out of the navy. So now we'll trim down that shutter piece. And I'm always trying to check to make sure that the shutter's working properly. And um, But next we're going to bring in our twinkle lights. Now it's time for the lights. Super excited. This is a three pack. Love that they come in a three pack. Super excited about that. And these twinkle lights are fabulous. If you have not tried them and you, oh, I'm telling you, you're going to want to. I highly recommend people starting out with a one light and then you work your way up and then you're just going to be obsessed with all of them and you're going to want to light up every card you can. <laughs> Uh, that's basically how I have been. Uh, so now we're going to just go ahead and assemble everything on the front before we attach our, our twinkle light. I thought about attaching the twinkle light first and then I thought, no, we should probably just attach everything to the front and then we can work with our twinkle light next. So I've got my, my mushrooms. We're attaching them all on the front. I love how there's that 3D look to them. They look rounded at the top. And I, I'm just kind of, I don't know, I'm obsessed with anything mushroom. I don't know why. I don't. I have so many mushroom dyes and stamps, and it's like I see them and I have to have them all. I don't know why. I just, I love them. And so, um, yeah, when Lawn Fawn came out with their new mushroom stuff, I had to get my hands on it. Just had to. All right, so we're attaching those down just using some liquid glue. And the reason for using liquid glue and not more foam tape is because we will have to put foam tape on the back of this and that'll add extra bulk if we added foam tape to the mushrooms as well. Yes, yeah, Smiles is gonna come in and out to inspect and make sure that everything is to his liking. At least that's what I'm telling myself. It also could be because he wants to be fed <laughs> or just wants attention. That's Miles for you. He's my needy child. All right, so we've attached down all the pieces there. Now we're going to put the rocks on. I just think the rocks add such a cute little touch to the end. And this die also comes with little faces. So you could add little faces to your mushrooms if you wanted to. There's just, it's fun. There's a lot of options. You could do all kinds of colors of mushrooms too. I decided to do the orange because I knew that would just really pop on that navy blue redwood as well and then I'm going to add a few extra dots so we can add those small little rocks and now we're finally ready to get our twinkle light ready so you just pull out a battery then you're going to snap apart your twinkle lights they come like this super easy don't worry about breaking them I'll put the rest back I'll put the battery in, just lining up the plus with the plus, and check out the twinkle. I just love it. Oh my goodness. And now the fun part of putting it on the back. So I'm trying to decide where I want my push button, and it works perfectly that this push here, which comes from the push here stamp set, will work really well on top of one of the rocks. So I'm just going to ink it up and stamp that down on top of the push, or on top of the rock, and it says push me. <laughs> I'm telling you, when I decided to do a double interactive, I thought I probably bit off more than I could chew, but the end result was so worth it. Oh my goodness. So now I'm peeling off some of that release paper from the rip and stick. You definitely want to use that on the back of your mechanism just to attach it down. And then whenever I press that little push here, our twinkle lights light up. Yay! And now I have to decide where I want the twinkle lights to pop through. So I'm going to use my pickup stick and I'm going to poke some holes, three holes where I want those lights to shine through, trying to avoid obviously wherever um, the shutter itself is. And then to attach these down, I'm going to use some just clear scotch tape. This stuff is great. It's easy to tear 
and so I'm just going to attach it right over the top of each of those lights. I'm not so worried right now about where the wires are going to be. I just want to make sure that those lights are poking through the holes that I just put in there. So I'll attach each one of those down and again using some scotch tape and if it's too big I can just tear it. That's what makes it so great. You could use washi tape as well but if you do washi tape over the, the light I haven't actually tried that. I don't know. Maybe that would be an issue. So, But at least you know with the clear um, scotch tape, you're not going to have an issue. All right, so I've got all three of those attached down, and now the next part would be putting the wires down. So I'm going to attach those to the back of the shutter, and there's two places to attach it to. It would be on where the tabs are. So all I'm going to do is take those wires and just tape them using our scotch tape right to where the tabs are. And you can wad them up. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't need to be pretty. It just needs to be down. And everything still works. Just want to make sure our shutter works great, our lights work great, and then once those are attached, now we can bring in our world's best foam tape and we can start putting some foam tape around the rest of it. So this tape is wonderful for a lot of reasons. It's repositionable if you need to do that. It's also super easy to cut, uh, which I did need to do that. I needed to cut some small strips for the upper portion and it was so easy to do. It didn't stick to my scissors. Love that about it. And then also the release paper comes off super easy as well. So there's no fighting with any of that. I'm just trimming that down and you want to avoid the places where the mechanism needs to, you know, the shutter needs to be pulled and you want to avoid the shutter itself. But this stuff is great. It's also a double thickness, which works really well for the shutter and yeah, everything's working beautifully. So now we'll just peel off all that release paper. I did avoid the lights themselves. You can go over the wires. It's not a big deal if you do that. I'll open it up pardon my head and then we'll just stick it right down on top of our card base and now I need to stamp out my sentiments so again those come from the to my fun guy which isn't out yet but there are some really great other sentiments that they do have to go along with mushrooms I'm using our black sentiment stock this stuff is amazing because it's so super smooth I did use an anti-static powder tool on it and then I stamped both of my sentiments using some clear embossing ink and then covered that with some white embossing powder now I'm going to heat set both of those until those are um, completely dry and they get glossy. So they'll go from a matte to a glossy. And then I can trim those down, which I did. I did go ahead and stamp the heart from our push here stamp set. I don't have the matching die for it, but that's okay because what I'm going to end up doing is just cutting this out right on the black line. So I'm coloring that up with my Olo markers. Then I cut it out. Right on the black line, I'm using a um, memento black marker just to col color the edges so you don't see any of that white. And then I'll open up my shutter after I attach down the I'm glad I picked you. <laughs> I love that. That's so cute. Then we'll open up our shutter and we'll attach our heart on the inside. And that last sentiment says, you make my heart so mushy. <laughs> I love the puns. So cute. Lawn Fun does it right. So there you go. And then now that that's all done, I'm going to attach the other mushroom, the final mushroom to the inside of the card, just using some more of that liquid glue that will make the outside go with the inside as well. And yes, yeah, Miles is all over the place. And then that, that is gonna finish off our card. I know this was a long one. Thanks for sticking with me. I think the end result was so good. We have a double interactive. We have a shutter and we also have some twinkle lights. Yay, I'm so happy. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And be sure to check out all that Pear Blossom Press has going on over on their blog, Facebook page and Instagram for more crafty inspiration. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.